agents here that slipped in. Now, you would all accompany me to my office. Now then, you two. Mind introducing yourselves? I believe I'm long overdue an introduction. Well, aren't you self-important? As I've explained before, we are in pursuit of a woman in peculiar garb. And to my eye, it would seem you bear some connection to her. Oh, and what if I did? Then I would take you in for questioning. I should have already done so the moment I laid eyes on you. You are too suspicious by half to keep the company of one such as her. Enough of this, cousin! Cousin? cousin? You overstep your bounds. You will treat these two with utmost civility. Someone feels strongly. Do you, Albie? Albie? In truth, we would not have made it nearly this far without their assistance. And can we leave that nickname in the past where it belongs? <laughs> Did not expect that. Even if you say they are to be trusted, who am I to believe otherwise? Hmm, I suppose a maester wouldn't tag along with just anyone. Speaking of your party, am I correct in assuming you're Maester de Forge's daughter? Whoa, you know who I am? I happen to be a member of the Kingsguard when His Majesty visited Delric for your father's funeral. Oh, sorry to be blunt, but... Who are you, exactly? I get that you know Albert and Leticia, but they've never mentioned you before. I am Theo Clemrath. Son of Duke Lambert Clemrath, brother to His Majesty the King, cousin to Princess Leticia. Clemrath? Wait, Theo, as in Commander Theo, of the Assyrian Naval Forces? Oh, I'm so sorry! There's no need to be, I assure you. Any friend of Albie and Letty's is a friend of mine. However, I can't be friends with those whose names I don't yet know. So, would you care to rectify the situation? I am Raymond Lawrence. And I'm Elena. Well then, Ray, Elena. I think it's high time we got to talking. I'm sure there's much to discuss. If it weren't for Letty, I'd think you'd lost your minds. I know it's crazy, but that woman you're after could be one of my crewmates. And if it is, there's no way she's the source of the rot. Though I'm inclined to believe you, our political situation with the Empire complicates matters. Residents of Baldar Citadel are evacuating in droves, seeking safe harbor in the capital in Kano. Many suspect that a number of Imperial spies have used this exodus to slip unseen into our lands. The People's Guard is up. Anything outside the norm is viewed askance. So the Commons have seen this woman, then? Eyewitness reports claim she was spotted near the Tines. Soon after the encounter, the rot took hold here, to which many and more succumbed. As much as I would like to investigate further, I can't risk it. The mountains are far too dangerous. Is there truly not to be done? Yes, as it stands. We are severely shorthanded. You saw how I was the only one who responded to your commotion with the guards. Well, if you require helping hands... Then you're in luck, because you've come to the right people. We'll investigate for you. Of course. Theo, Nina and Elena have made the discovery of the century. They have found a cure for Helgar's. What? Uh, 
and it just so happens the herbs we need can be found on that mountain. Commander, I know the place is dangerous, but could you allow us access to the Tynes? Please, cousin. How can I say no? It's not every day Letty thinks to use the word please with me. I would like to offer you something in return, though. Perhaps I can make some headway in the search for your comrade. So, what should I know about her? Well, her name's Chloe Canaris, and she'll probably be dressed like us. What sorcery is this? She's a jumpy one, so no wanted posters or anything like that, got it? As you wish. Likewise, refrain from pulling that trick again. The townspeople are on edge enough as it is. <laughs> Despite her stalwart appearance, Letty is the princess of this kingdom. Keep her out of harm's way, will you?